Welcome to part two of the Stellaris Solar System modding tutorial. And today we will be going over localization. I'm going to start making shorter YouTube videos about modding as it'll help keep things a little more organized and we can make sure everything stays bite sized. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here we are back in the bait in the game. And uh, gotta say, love the new game art. But if we go here, I've set up a custom empire that will use our um, that will use our solar system initializer. So if we go to homeworld naming class, you'll notice that the name of the initializer shows up, but it's not what we want to name it. So what you see there is an initializer key, which we will define in localization. So here we are in the base game files, and for localization, we go to the localization folder, English, and we'll start with new text document. And I'll just name it new system initializers. Hey, it's a future me. So um, you need to do the initializer name for the localization file, but then you need to add. Um, underscore l underscore english to make the to make the yml file be read by the game uh my bad now there's a few things you gotta do for one we have to open it up and go to encoding utf8 bomb localization folders are for whatever reason encoded differently so you have to use utf8 bom i'm not sure of the nuances of that that's just the way it is then file save as and then you have to save it as a dot yml file oops dot ym yml file why does it keep changing dot uh, yml save now if we go back to our folder can delete this. We have a new system initializers.yml, which is open here. Now, to get an understanding of what localization files are, I have opened up initializers for um, the pre scripted systems. And you can just kind of see that there are names with different keys. So, in the game, the game reads. It's looking for the key, so um, name alpha, it's looking for the name, and it would find alpha. The reason that it's just the name alpha isn't hard coded into the game is that it's so much easier to have a localization key than it is to than it is to like hard code in every language. So an initialized file just contains think of it like a database of all the names and files. So that way you can just switch out languages fairly easily. But the main thing we want to steal from this folder is the L underscore English, which all localization files will have. If you're in Spanish, it's L Spanish. If you're in Portuguese, it's L Portuguese. We're in English. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so you don't have to define them in the game code. So it's new system initializer. And one will be the system initializer name, uh, semicolon, then a zero key with two parentheses, and new system initializer desk, semicolon, zero, and two parentheses. And this, this is your name. should be everything you need. Also make sure you name your files correctly. So new system initializer, localization files, always need to end with L in your language, so that should work now. Alright, here we are back in the game. If we go to new folder, if we go to this new game, the name and class, you'll see the text that we entered 
is now there. So that's all you need to know about localization modding. It's still working. Um, I've made some modifications to the file since we were here last, but you can see we've got our gas giant, our molten world, and um, it, if it looks a little bit funny, uh, that's because I used the, uh, the life seated origin, which adds an absolute unit of a planet. That's quite big. Impressive.